Welcome students. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can graph your data for the Power Lab. Here we have some data that's typical of a lot of groups' data. Lots of different columns here. One of these columns represents the independent variable, which that group was changing on purpose. And that column is D. Another column represents the dependent variable. That column is this power column. And we can see that power is going to be affected by the number of reps. So to see that relationship between them, we're going to graph the data. So the first thing you want to do when graphing your data is identify the independent variable and then highlight that data, including the label at the top. Then go to Insert Chart. You can use this graph, this little icon here, or you can go to Insert from the drop-down menu. First thing you'll need to do here is to select an additional range. So select Ranges. What that means is select another column. So click on Add Another One then highlight the power. We are now highlighting the dependent variable. It's very important that we do this in the right order because if we do the if we highlight the dependent variable first then the axes on our graph are going to be switched. Alright, we can say OK. We're going to do this as a scatter plot because the independent variable is a range of numbers. So let's go to more, scatter, pick that one. And here we have our data. So at this point here, we need to start modifying our, our graph. We will want to put a title for the axes. Um, we want to modify our chart title. We probably don't need to have that legend there. So we can go to Customize. We can change our chart, chart title to um, Effect of Number of Reps on Lifting Power. And that effect should be an E, actually, because that's a noun, the effect of. OK, and I'm going to make the font size bigger by a little bit. When you are showing this to your classmates, um, it's important that you have some nice big titles so that we can see what your axes are and see what your graph represents. All right, then um, as far as the legend, I'm going to say none. And I'm going to say insert. I'm forgetting to do some things, but I'm going to show you how you can go back and change things that you may have forgotten about. Okay, um, so far so good. Oops, we forgot to label our axes titles. All we have to do is click on them. Click on that again. Let's see here. There it goes. And we can put uh, number of reps per set. Actually, that should probably be maybe all lowercase, number of reps per set. And maybe I feel like that's a little bit too, oops, that didn't take, did it? Number of reps per set. Let's hit enter. There we go. Now I'm going to make that a little bigger. I'm going to change that font size from 12 to maybe 15. Okay. And I click enter. So there we go. Same thing for the vertical. Click it, type it. This is lifting power measured in watts. I'm going to write out the word watts. You can also use the symbol capital W. Same font size. Press enter to apply. Okay, so it looks like we have our axes labeled. And one thing we might want to still do is maybe make these numbers bigger so our classmates can see from the, on the big screen. So let's change that font size to 15 and do the same thing for the other one. And if you really want to get fancy, you can change colors too, things like that. But don't make it tacky. Make it more readable. Okay. Uh, I guess the last thing I'll show you is this. You can then take your graph and you can move it around if you don't like where it's positioned. Just click on it with the hand and make sure that you've shared it with me so that I can open it up from my computer and you can show your classmates.